Women can't resist you when you're not scared to lose them. It's something about that, man. And you're going to lose a lot of women because you're not scared to lose them. And most women want control of you. So you will lose some women. But if you really don't care, even if you're not attractive, you're going to develop an energy field of confidence, an energy field that you don't settle for less. And that's what you want. You know, you want that energy field. You know, you can train yourself to be strong-minded, to be uh, to give off a certain energy, a certain vibe. But if you tolerate too much, if you tolerate too much because you want a beautiful woman around you or you're so lonely, then you're going to give off. They're going to pick up on all that. They can smell all that. They can pick up on all that. They can pick up on all that confidence. You know what I'm saying? But even a woman that's controlling, she can't do nothing but respect a man that uh, that's not scared to lose her. And it'll turn her on. And sometimes it'll submit. If you truly, truly real with yourself, if you truly, truly real with yourself, you know what I'm saying? Then you can, um, you know, you can speak your mind respectfully. You can tell a woman, no, I ain't going for that. You got to give off that I don't care. People love it. The world love it. You just can't bully nobody, but you can speak your mind. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to love yourself. It's nothing wrong with being quiet and, and, uh, it's nothing wrong with being quiet and, cause silence is golden and stuff like that. Pick your arguments, pick your battles, pick your conversations, but you have to speak your mind at times. If you're not scared to speak your mind in a respectful way, um, and then let it go, cause once you speak your mind, you don't go back and forth with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Just speak your mind and roll out. You ain't got to be disrespectful speaking your mind, but you can let people know how you feel. And then just go, leave. If, they, if you feel it's not going to be no changes from that. Now, if you're the type of person, you know you didn't mean no harm and you speak in mind, that, that person just don't understand you. You have, to, you, you have to get away from that person or people. Even if it's your job, even if your family, you must maintain your essence and your soul. It's so precious. You must maintain yourself. And that's how you get to know yourself by being real with yourself. Now, it's nothing wrong with correcting yourself if you're hurting somebody. But if you're not, if you being yourself is hurting people, then you don't need to be around them people. And especially if you being yourself is not evil. You know, you just pray to God, be like, God, you know, let me know if, if I'm, if something about my personality is evil, is, is hurting people. But if my presence is hurting people just because me being real, then, you know, it's, you can't, then that's on them. That's not on you. That's, that's their problem if they want to be around fake people, fake family members, fake coworkers and stuff. That's their problem. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that's just how it go, man. You know? That's just how it go. You know? You got to stay prayed up and be real with yourself, man. Because these people out here, they want to be in a position to disrespect you. But don't let them disrespect you. Don't let them disrespect you. You have to respectfully put people in check. You know, at times. Sometimes you let stuff go. But when you see that people getting out of hand or, or about to get out of hand, you got to just respectfully tell them, hey, look, here, ain't no need for that. Ain't no need to get disrespectful. Ain't no need to get smart. Ain't no need for none of that. You know what I'm saying? Because these people crazy. The, the, the devil getting these people, man. You got to wake up. Sometimes you got to... You gotta smack. You gotta smack the devil out of them with, 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 with the truth. You have to smack the devil out of them with the truth, man. But I'm Alan Ray, and hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell button. Follow me on Instagram at Alan Ray and Show. Hit the description box and uh, follow me on Instagram at Alan Ray and Show. Everything is in the description box, all right? Um, also, if you want a consultation, message me on Instagram. Um, and uh, if you want to send me the Pookie Song challenges, uh, if you don't know what the Pookie Song challenge is, Google Pookie Song challenge or YouTube group Pookie, Pookie Song Challenge to show you the blueprint. And uh, you can challenge anything. You can challenge a Zodiac, a football team, basketball team. You can challenge your ex-boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend. You can challenge a city. It don't matter. But uh, get you, 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 can, you can do it by yourself, but I prefer you to do it with people. Hey, much love to you. I'll holler at y'all later. We out.